Canada is advising travellers to the UK to exercise a high degree of caution as the UK authorities deal with ongoing violent clashes between protesters and police. The violence comes after incorrect reports on social media said the attacker in a recent gruesome stabbing was a Muslim asylum seeker. The false information has also led to increased violence against immigrants and mosques in the country. Three young girls were killed and 10 others wounded when a 17-year-old boy attacked mostly children with a knife at a Taylor Swift-themed dance party. Jack Rowlett from Young Voices joined us from the UK to explain the extent of the riots. Initially, these riots were in quite a small part of the country. They were initially in Southport, which is the area where that awful um, murder of those young girls happened last week. But they've now spread across the country. There are, at the time we're talking, about 30 different locations where riots have taken place and they really they go from right the way through the country from the south to the north cities towns lots of different places and um, the government's response to this to try and and calm tensions to try and get things back to normal is to really speed up the process of dealing with the rioters so they've made prison cells available for them their courts in this country are now sitting 24 hours a day um, in lots of parts of the country so that they can process these criminals and so that they can hear their cases. And we're actually seeing really swift justice now being done. We've seen quite a few uh, dozens um, at this point of, of people who have been charged and then sentenced and are being sent to prison. And that's all taken place in a relatively short amount of time. Um, and what that's designed to do really is to, to tackle this phenomenon that we've had where people are, are just spotting an opportunity to join in with criminality. There's a kind of hard call of people who are these far right thugs who have this kind of, you know, almost terrorist ideology. But actually, lots of the people joining in with the rioting, they're just opportunists. They're often young people. They're just, you know, spotting an opportunity to loot shops. And if you can really crack down on that, then people are less likely to think, oh, well, this is a good opportunity to join in if they think they're going to be punished. You don't know when these kind of riots are going to kick off. Um, you know, some of them are scheduled, but it can be quite unpredictable. And especially if you're not used to the UK and you don't know your way around, then I, I think it, it, it seems pretty sensible that countries like Canada and Australia are, are issuing those travel warnings and saying, you know, be careful or stay away for now. I think we will have the problem under control fairly quickly. Um, we've seen already last night that there were far more counter protesters than rioters last night. And although there are more um, riots scheduled, um, uh, both tonight and over the coming weekend, it does seem like, like the swift response uh, from the justice system is, is kind of making its way through now um, and is deterring people. So 